There really is something for every kind of adventurer when you're on holiday in Scotland. From beautiful walks and some of the best golf courses in the world, to off-road driving and flying experiences, you're guaranteed to have fun and memorable experiences with the whole family. The best thing about travelling by motorhome is that you don't need to choose some activities over others. You can just fasten yourself into your motorhome and travel to wherever the next adventure is. To avoid disappointment, however, it's a good idea to try and plan your activities ahead of time. Simply so, you can plan the best route for your holiday on the road. Towering mountains, glittering locks, dense woodlands and mile upon mile of golden beaches. Scotland's landscapes really will take your breath away. Tour the rolling hills and lush farmland of the lowlands, or drive through deep glens surrounded by mountains in the highlands. Uncover magnificent coastal features in the west and explore the atmospheric royal settings of the East. In a country blessed with a motherload of dazzling highland roads, Few rival the bucket list potential of this uppity, downity, twisty, turny Big Dipper connecting Torridon to Applecross. You may not stay here long, but the views of Wester Ross from the Applecross Inn will never leave you. Surely by now, you'll know that Scotland is made for road tripping. There's no shortage of impressive natural beauty to admire as you tour Scotland by motorhome. The question is, where should the next road trip take you? Highly publicised, as Scotland's answer to Route 66, I must admit that the North Coast 500 is possibly the best road trip to do in Scotland. That is, if you have at least five or six days. Starting and finishing in Inverness, this route will take you to some of the most scenic places in the whole country and will make you fall in love with the rugged wilderness of the north of Scotland. Driving up the Balaknabar Road is a terrific experience, but so is exploring gorgeous castles like Dunrobin Castle or the ruins of Ardvik Castle. There are plenty of waterfalls, gardens by the sea and some mind-blowing beaches.
fishing has been carried out at Cullen for at least 500 years. The arbour was built in 1817 and was once busy with herring fishing. Today it is used mainly by pleasure craft. The village specialised in the export of smoked haddock and had at one time three large curing houses. The Mori Firth is home to one of only two resident populations of bottlenose dolphins in Britain. Watch carefully and you may spot the dolphins leaping and playing. <laughs>